cool story happened. Um, some of you think I got scammed, and I don't look at it that way because it opened up doors and gave me a message. So I was listening on the radio, and they were talking about how these homeless peoples had these homeless peoples peoples these homeless people had started a choir, and the police came there and 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 find them. And even the property was put together by somebody that thought it was cool for them to to, to do it, but the police had had fined them. And all this person said was, the police should have a better approach than fining homeless people because that doesn't necessarily necessarily work. And I'm not necessarily saying give them handouts, but I was thinking, hey, what's a what's a more evolved type of situation? Um, for helping them out instead of instead of finding them, so I go to Rubio's right after that, and I'm in Rubio's, and this lady sleeping in her car comes up to me, and she has a little kid with her, and and I'm an old soft softy, and but I also take calculated risk, and this time I looked on one of my credit cards, it was a, a debit card, and I looked on it and I saw that I had twenty eight dollars on it. And I handed it to her, this lady, and I said to her, use this, there's $28 on it, use it however you would like. So I was under the assumption that she was just going to go to the counter and buy some food there. And then all of a sudden, that wasn't like a lot of people would do. I had calculated that there's no way this thing, this for the specific account, that it can go negative balance. Um, and there's there was a lot of things that I calculated when I gave it to her, um, because I didn't want to take a take a risk. And then all of a sudden, just like like I'm not going to hand somebody that suicidal a gun. I'm not saying that's a gun, but so I I handed it to her, and she goes she goes off. I mean, I'm eating, I'm making sure I'm not looking at her, she's buying everything, and then all of a sudden, like halfway through my burrito, I'm like, where is that lady? But I'm still like, I'm like, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna trust her. Maybe she was smart, instead of just going buying something at Rubio's, she went and like loaded up for the week at the grocery store, because there was a Ralph's close. And then I'm like, I'm gonna finish and I'm just gonna leave, because... I already said she could have the 28 bucks. Worst case scenario, I go to the, the bank and, and get a new card for that, uh, that account because she doesn't have the account number or anything. So at the end of the day, couldn't find her. And a couple days later, I had more money in my account. She, I mean, like after two days, she didn't even spend any money. And then it turns out that she, she ended up when I, when I finally, uh, close that card out I had $14 in my in my account so I don't know what happened I don't know if those were my regular expenditures but it turns out that from from my standpoint I was able to be there and be there for her and, and it opened up the fact of adventure I was looking for adventure and if we control our life so much and we don't embrace chaos then it throws different situations because that could have been something that I ended up losing a lot of money or something like that it puts us in different situations so that opened a lot of doors for me on the weekend and a lot of opportunities because I was taking more risk instead of trying which I is, is something that I preach about for lack of a better word I was able to put be put in that position that I was I was doing it and this is way too fucking long but I'm just gonna throw it up anyways hope you find some value out of it I hope this this touches somebody at some point in the future or in the past or in the present peace Jedi Steve <laughs>